Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Infraspace. A factory game where you colonize a world and automate literally everything to your heart's content. Until all the traffic ruins your day, at least. And last time we got started figuring out all the basics, like how to build road systems, how to set up resources, and we got some science up and running so we can learn some new tech and expand our civilization. And we learned some pretty mission critical information about this game. And that is the only way to progress is to make the citizens happy by giving them the appliances and whatever else they demand. And slowly but surely that's been happening. But what's more important about this scheme is that we don't really have any limits. All the power is renewable and we can place it anywhere and the storage is universal. So if we have a storage thing here and we had another storage thing, I don't know, on the other side of the world, both of these go to our global storage and we can use items anywhere. And with those things in mind, we can do everything, everywhere, all at once, and nothing will stop us. And that's what we're gonna do today. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. But getting started, we need to get a new research, we gotta move forward with things and stuff. Electronics, steel, one-way roads, traffic. Mm. Oh no, that needs a green science, can't do that. Steel production it is then. Let's undo that, let's get that, fantastic. And now to expand. So, I don't want to have all of our concrete production in our main city here. What's the point? If we can have this anywhere, let's just have it not here. Where is a random node of sulfur? So we need sulfur and sand. And sand is everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. There's some sulfur. And let's see if there's any anywhere else. Oh yeah, there's some right back here. Perfect, so we're going to use this instead. Research complete. Good, let's get electronics, then green science, home appliances, sure, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's automate right now. Because we really just want to get as much concrete as we possibly can. Concrete is pretty much the primary building material in the game, so why not just make as much of it as possible as soon as you can? Well, I suppose, actually, we don't know what the later techs are going to do, so we might need sulfur for something else. Who knows, right? So we'll leave a little bit, but for the most part, let's just grab as much as we can. So we needed sulfur, and we just need sand. And once we have both of those, all of that just goes to a concrete factory. And by one I mean several, of course. And then finally off to a storage bin. And that's it! Done! From there, all we have to do is vomit down as much renewable energy as we can. Connect it all together with some power lines. That should mean easy infinite concrete. Yeah? Right? Speed it up. Here go all the trucks, good. Obviously we might have a traffic problem, which is <laughs> almost certain, but maybe we won't. Yeah, it's a small enclosed system. There's nothing else in the way, right? Should be fine. Like I've built roads before and I've managed traffic very well. And this looks like a fantastic interchange. That will absolutely cause no problems. Though we could make it a tiny bit better if you know, maybe we had like an overpass or something, something like that. Hmm? Not bad, not bad. Then we stopped half of these vehicles. Excellent. Wow, and everything's just flowing so smoothly now. Okay, actually I lied, we have a bit of a problem. This is not working out. We need more road options. That's the thing, we need one-way roads. Then we can solve all problems forever. But to get that now, we need the green science. Okay, fine, fine. We unlocked it, fantastic. And we have home appliances. Awesome. Solar panels, hey, that's cool too. But no, 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 no. Green science, one-way roads, then we industrialize the world with less traffic. Okay. Well, green science pack factory. It needs a green thing. Oh, and here's the big meme. It needs a blue science to make this. Okay, so blue science makes green science, green science makes yellow, makes red, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, and then is that sulfur? Oh yeah, that is sulfur. So sulfur, green science, and circuit boards. I think we unlocked circuit boards? Electronics, that's it. Which is some blue and something else to make circuit boards. Gotcha. But seriously, what are we dealing with? Oh, it's copper. Oh, okay, gotcha. Copper and iron ore. Okay, we can make that work. So th let's leave that behind for a moment. Let's go back to our main settlement over here. And we got copper right there. Iron ore right there. A little bit of sulfur. It's meant to be. Oh look, there's more. There's more. <laughs> there's everything everywhere. We're gonna be fine. Let's start scooping. Let's get an iron mine going. Or a few even. 
That should be good, at least to start. Next, more sulfur. Gimme. It's like the perfect little patch for a little factory, actually. And then a copper mining machine. Why do all these machines have to look different? You just dig it. Why aren't they all just weird pickaxe machines? I thought the world worked like Minecraft. Or maybe this game's just trying to be quirky and different. I don't know. It's fine. We got everything we need now. Iron. We just need the iron ore too, didn't we? Yeah, it's just the iron and copper ores. So we can go absolutely nuts at this point. So let's connect up to our main grid. Make everything nice and pretty. No bridges! Let's just casually go over that way. And now we just spam! Yeah, we'll make as many of these as we can until we break all systems. And it'll kind of be like a calm before the storm type deal. Because, oh boy, traffic is going to get absolutely wild near our science area. But that will work for now. And wait, why are all these trucks coming here? Who are, what is this? Iron? We have, oh, oh, we already had an iron, another iron mine. Gotcha. Well, hopefully the traffic's smart enough to not bring iron from over here and just takes it from over here later on. That would be ideal, but hey, early access game. Not gonna hold my breath. Let's just place things down. Just gotta wait and see what happens. Copper online. Now it's off to the great mixing bowl. Now, is there still iron coming from over there? Yes, but that will probably stop soon once these iron mines really pick up. Now, there's a lot here. Six mines compared to the three over there. Yeah, this should work. And if it doesn't, you know what? We have like infinite concrete. Why not just make our lives a little bit easier and prepare for the future. We can have more iron mines here later. And then we can have like a little side road scooting up this way, going right where it needs to be. Perfect. Now all the traffic should dodge the main city and just go over there. And already, I think we're getting some circuit boards. Yeah, they're all going into storage. Efficiency is apparently really bad. Whoops. And also we don't have enough power. Well, that's fine, everything costs concrete. And even though the concrete factory we just set up isn't exactly working super well, it's still making a lot. Like it's better than zero. So we really don't need to worry about costs. Not for a long, long time. Okay, power is good. Oh yeah, power actually was already good. So that's what we have. We have 380-ish out of 181 used. Looks like just we don't have enough population, but that's again, easily solved. Everything really is easily solved. We just have to do it. But first, focus. We must have the science of the green. So we can just throw this down over here. Another one there, yeah. Get some bonuses. No, wait, what are we out of? Steel, bruh. Can we even make steel right now? We researched it, right? Yes, that's this. Oh, dude, we have to make a million of these now. And we have the iron over there. We need the carbon from these guys as well then. So <laughs> fortunately for us, the citizens don't really complain about pollution. So you know, if they just have a steel mill literally next door, it's fine. Oh my gosh. And finally, these guys have somewhere to deliver all the carbon to and they're like, yo, let's go. Party at the steel mill which is absolutely fine by me. And I've overbuilt a little tiny bit. That's okay. May as well build more now. Man, why are all the vehicles going to this interchange? I built a back road right over here. Just go this way. Oh, I see now. <laughs> Come on, aren't they all terrain trucks? Wait, they don't even have wheels. They can just hover up a little doodad like that. Should be fine. There we go. <laughs> they can get over that too, right? Um. We're gonna call that a work hazard. Like, I don't really care much for the population. They can do whatever, but if my equipment gets damaged, we have a problem. Much better. So those iron trucks will go this way. The carbon trucks are over here and can go that way. And everything works out. Finally, back to the green. And what else? There is like an entrance to this building from over here, and I don't like that. I'm gonna change that one up a bit. And we're just gonna build the storage over here now. That should be a little bit better. At least gets the traffic out of the way. Now, how's our science looking? Real not good. We haven't gotten any electronics yet. Oh, this place has though. 132% efficiency, okay. Things are working out. People are coming by. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Look at all those electronic trucks. They're vibing. And actually, since we already know we're gonna need like science out the Huazoo, let's just make this a blue science area and like a little green science area. It's not super space efficient either, but that will ease up on the traffic a little bit. So I don't mind. And from here now, I know for sure we must have enough green science to get one-way roads. And then that will solve all the traffic problems because we can make roundabouts. 
and do some proper urban planning. Well, in a little bit. But first, let's finish up harvesting the rest of the world. Now, how's this running, actually? Oh, this is running just fine. We didn't even need the one-way roads. Perfect. Well, now we already know that we need steel, though. So, concrete-wise, that will do for now. Let's deal with the steel. And we'll kind of go from node to node, setting up as many factories as we possibly can. Oh, but wait! The oxygen processor makes oxygen and carbon dioxide. And we really just need carbon dioxide, so we really want a carbon processor. Can we just build one of those? When do we get carbon processing? Large town, yellow science, super highways? Recycling? Okay, dude, what? Oh, it's way over here. We need particle filters, so that's yellow science. Okay, yeah, we're not getting that for a hot minute. So, will these atmospheric processor things work and just kind of make the carbon dioxide even if the oxygen fills up? Because if that's not the case, we're going to have a problem. Let's try it out for now. Fill just a handful of these bad boys. Give it a little power, and then let's see what's up. Okay, well, hey, starting things off here. The factories are running. We got the carbon. Got all the jazz they need. Awesome. Uh, are these filling up? They are filling up. Well, how much oxygen can these guys store? Oh, well, perfect. So it looks like these things can store 30 oxygen, but then they still keep producing carbon. So... <laughs> We can do whatever we want. That's great. That's great. Only problem is we are short on workers, but that's easily fixed. And oh my, when did this happen? I looked away for one second and all the traffic's here. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We have the good news here. We can make as much of this as we want. So before we fix the traffic, let's make it worse, as is logical, and casually double the size of the steel production over here. Now, traffic wise, we all know how to fix traffic all the time. And that's with roundabouts, or squareabouts. So let's just have this go in a big circle, right like that. How do you I re ah, reverse the road, the button itself? Genius. There we go. So now this is all just one giant roundabout. Should make things a lot better. And then around this, we'll make this a roundabout too. And finally, this little horror show can just be one super giant roundabout, or squareabout, because they're easier to build. Now, as is decreed by city planning law, a roundabout will solve all problems. This is how it is. This is the way. Everybody's super happy now, right? Yeah. Moving, grooving, all going in this one direction. What if, wait a second, this isn't exactly working. All the vehicles from here are just trying to zoop around all the way there. Hmm. What if they then had a little sneaky way through? Eh, there we go. Look at that. Fixed things, kind of. Nope, I actually did quite the opposite. That made all the traffic exponentially worse. Now it's not even moving. It's fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted to see. And you know what? It doesn't actually have to be a problem. What if we just got rid of everything? We've set up so much now that we have thousands of the primary resources and we can just kind of spam up warehouses wherever we really want and kind of go with the system of uh, the more the merrier. Aha, perfect. Now there's only one little gridlock and not a ton of big gridlocks. See, we saved the city. Oh, wait, no, I lied. That just became one super massive gridlock. Okay, fine, fine. Then it is time. I shall use a fraction of my power and build a properly organized system. Aha! Behold! My soon to be patented poop shoot system. See, now there's only one way roads for the vehicles to go down. So the vehicles from the sulfur mines and the sand mines just have to be forced down one street. They go to their factories, then they scoot. And then the one ways kind of scoot them through the other factories until they reach a warehouse and their stuff gets dropped off, organized, and we become rich. And there's no way for traffic to pile up. It's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, we can make it a little bit better though. What if the vehicles could scoot through here? Hmm. This thing's a tiny bit more efficient. Could cause a problem, could also not cause a problem, who knows, but it's looking real good right now, my friends. It's looking real good. And I think this is completely unnecessary. But we'll add one more road just so people can get back. Okay, good. It's looking good. I can hardly see through all the productive smoke. I'm not seeing any traffic though. I'm just seeing profit. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think we can check our city level. No, production overview. Where's the concrete? How much are we making? 347.5. Not bad. Could be a lot better, but we need twice the amount of population to support the jabs. This has worked out really well. 
So now just population. And population will try and keep that still centralized way over in the main town. Well, the town. And we'll just increase the urban sprawl just dramatically. You know, this is kind of nice. Doubling and or tripling our population doesn't have any economic ramifications. Everything just gets better. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Double the population. Love to see it. Oh, why are these guys hungry? Survival food? You don't have enough food? There's food literally next door. People are crazy, crazy, I tell you. Uh, let's check our production overview. Oh, we don't have enough sand. That's fine. Food, where's the food? Food, we're making 18.6. Oh, but we need 18.4. Okay, we're actually a little low on food. Fine, have more food. The Kibbs provides, but seriously, People need to get over their food and oxygen and water addictions. Like, troubled people here. Troubled people. Okay, it's gonna take like 30 years for all the people to move in, but that's okay. There's other things we can do. So, I guess we can't really work on our other factories either right now because they're not gonna be efficient because there's no people, so science it is. Where are we at? Improved wind turbines, yeah. Solar panels, sure, let's get those. Concrete roads, sound neat, like that. Let's get that next. And then small town. So in order to be a small town, we need most of these habitats to be level three. What do the people then want? You just upgraded. You wanted the home appliances? Okay, now do we make a home appliance in the home appliances factory? <laughs> wow, that needs circuit boards. It looks like raw iron. Oh yeah, we did that just earlier. We need all the circuit boards right here. So we just do a little bit of this. The game's saying bonuses, that means this is the right way. Go for it, all of them, more. We're bonused out the Huazu. You come this way, don't worry about the traffic, it's not gonna be a problem for sure, no worries. We'll wait and see if that's enough. I think it is, well, let's see. That produces two every 36 seconds. Yeah, I can't do the math on that. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on the production overview. Home appliances, 22.4, 9.4. Oh, we can already see. Production is way over the consumption. But maybe that's just because most of the houses aren't level two yet. I don't know. In the meantime, we got solar panels, so that's cool. These produce 50 megawatts. These produce 20. These are pretty good. Whoa there, Bakaroo. It's pretty big. Uh, I suppose it's worth it. Throw down a bunch over here. Get rid of the wind turbines. They're nice and all, but bruh. Ain't nothing better than a solar panel in the shade. <laughs> Even the game likes it. Concrete roads as well. I guess just better roads. Wait, these are gravel? Oh. Oh, and these are concrete. Oh, and they're much more expensive. Here we go. Whoa, 32 concrete for those ones? Sheesh, okay, okay. Steel for some roads too. Noted, we're gonna have to worry about that stuff later on. For now, back to what we're doing. We have the furniture being made. And the numbers are still looking good. The consumption rate has not gone up, but we do still need some more circuit boards and carbon. That's fine. Let's rock and roll on the circuit boards first. And you know, I'm just kind of taking a guess here, but I think it's like two circuit board factories to one home appliance shop. We're, we're gonna assume that's the correct ratio, you know? Why not? It's not like you can have too much production, right? Ooh, and look at that. We're getting some level three settlements. Nice habitat, nice, nice. It actually looks really cool. I prefer that. All right, and you're gonna level up now? You have the appliances. You're somehow wearing them through. You must be happy. Oh, people are moving in. Okay, I see. Maybe once the people move in, that's when it'll level up? Probably. City level, yeah, 32 level threes. We need 300 though. Oh my gosh, okay, fast forward time. We need the speed. Oh, hey, we did the thing, hooray. Level three, nice. New text for me, very nice. Large buildings, parks, aluminum, motors, four lane roads, <gasps> trains. Oh, power substations. Let's get that first and then big roads. Oh, then trains, highways, large mines, computers? Are there super computers? Just straight up neural processors. Okay, that's cool. This is very cool. You could downright say I'm excited. Except, wow, we still need so many more people to fill out those jabs. This economy, it ain't working. Not yet. Wait, can we build more of these, like, port things? Spaceports? Spaceport, yeah. There we go. That's gonna speed things up significantly. Very, very, very good. Wish I did that like 10 minutes ago. Whoops. 
Oh, and we got the substation too. Super, super quick. What's this? Oh my gosh, I wish I had this so much sooner. That's huge. So this can power our entire city. We don't need to go through the whole town with these stupid power poles. Oh, dude. Oh, I wish we had these like years ago. It doesn't fit. But at least we can design around them in the future and make our life a million times easier. However, though, that's gonna be all for today because we finally have enough population to support our jabs. I'd say our expansions today have been sufficient. So I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.